This is Tickling Mania 97 here with a quick video of my 5 gallon saltwater aquarium. Um, since the last video, I have added um, right here some zoanthids. Uh, what I purchased was originally a piece, um, but it gradually fell apart because not all of it was on a rock when I, or a plug. Um, when I purchased it, so it kind of, it has been, and I also purchased it, purchased, um, these maroon polyps, uh, that was included on this zoanthid piece, so, um, I kind of spread those out across the tank, um, these guys right here, I moved about an hour and a half, two hours ago, they got knocked over under the ground, under the gravel right here, so they're still kind of adjusting. I guess last night they fell over and they finally just got used to laying on the gravel and readjusted. So here, so I'll give them some time. Um, there's also another one behind that hermit crab. You can kind of see it there. He just totally walked over him, so he's closed up right now. Um, hopefully that shouldn't bother them, but I don't know. Also, there was this guy attached on a piece of coral. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's a rock flower or a green bubble tip anemone. Um, I thought... I came to this conclusion because it moves around a lot, and when this large piece fell over, I took him off, um, because three or four of the heads of the zoanthids on there. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's an anemone, t an anemone too, because it's got like a brown foot, and it moves at a pretty good pace, and it seems like it's like in the spot right where I put it. It's only been up there for, like I said, about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, it's opened up, got all its little tentacles out. Uh, it's not as bright as green as it's been, but it's kind of bubbled up. So, I'm, I'm thinking it's going towards the green. Um... But since it is so small right now, there really is no way to tell. It is only about a quarter of an inch to a third of an inch. But when it grows, we'll see where it goes. Um, that's really all I've added to this tank so far. Uh, also, you can see that there's some uh, coralline algae actually starting to grow. Uh, crushed coral. I really didn't expect this to happen, although I should have because of the larger pieces. Um, it actually kind of looks nice. Uh, you can see it more on this big piece here and it's kind of dotted around. But uh, it looks like the color to the tank since these two big rocks have not really been given the chance to get coralline algae growth on them. And uh, also, this other algae, this new stuff, is going on the glass, so I'm going to be adding some snails here, so don't have to be constantly using it. Uh, if I really didn't have any of those corals in here, I probably wouldn't be as concerned about that algae right now, but these do compete for light and other resources, so just to make the corals' life... Um, a little easier and more successful. Uh, I will um, get some snails for that. Uh, I had to use these the other day. There was a, a tube anemone growing on the coral, so I wanted to take that off before um, they became too much of a problem. Uh, these are just tweezers. I clean them off like really hot water, a little splash of bleach, just so it's d disinfected. Uh, these actually worked really well. It was just a tiny little um, tube anemone or glass anemone, whatever you want to call it, apostasia. Um, 
Thankfully, there was only one, and I got it out in time to, before it could spread, and I haven't noticed anything since. So, this actually worked out as a pretty good idea. A s simple, nothing fancy, no injecting lemon juice or any other chemicals or anything into the tank. So, hopefully, um, they don't sprout up again, but that's the video for today. Thank you, guys, and this is Sigma Mania 97 out.